okay now for my Poundland haul hopefully you um, enjoyed that little bit of footage in Poundland of um, sort of mostly I think it was Easter um, I did film this a couple of days ago um, that is the footage of Poundland but the haul I'm trying to get done now some items have actually disappeared mostly um, sort of snacks food bread that sort of thing um, I did get a few um, sort of freezer bits as well to try from Poundland because um, this Poundland went to Poundland Stroke. Pep and Co was one of the biggest stores actually where we live. Um, now I don't know if everybody else agrees with me although Poundland it is a majority I would say maybe three quarters I don't know price is still a pound but there's still a large portion of items that is more than a pound um, I found this one pound 25 one pound 50 upwards um, you've got Pep and Co which obviously is understandable the clothes are going to be more expensive than that but I have been caught a few times um, especially if I've got quite a few items if I've only got a few normally I know how much I've spent but sometimes especially when I've got family members or even a granddaughter and things get put in um, the basket then there is that occasion that you can actually um, lose track of what's been spent um, pretty much keep on the budget but I have been caught a few things like the Disney Princess range where it's been mixed with Poundland um, prices and then when it's got home I've realised on the receipt it's like 125 and things like that so I'm sh sure some of you might be aware of that especially if you're purchasing things for Easter baskets and I think just be aware that um, you can be caught out like I did. Now I have sort of spread them out it's in no particular order only in price order sort of thing because there's different prices so I try and get the prices correct declaration if I do get them wrong but I think I've pretty much you know sort of sorted things out like I said different prices like um this is a Dewhurst this is the chicken curry normally I have princess make and I've been getting it if I can from home bargains I think it's about the same price 125 um don't think I've actually um tried this brand um it is um the mild curry sauce I'm going to try it so if anybody else has tried it I want this um to keep up um for Easter Sunday because I'm doing a hot and cold buffet and I'm doing jacket potatoes so I want things um, to be fairly easy so I can spend time with the family as well so I've got two cans of those they're 125 each this is something else um, that was 125 and these are the micro fresh um, boxes um, I remember getting these um, when they're only a pound but they're 125 a lot of products are 125 I noticed this like the Christmas tree decorations going off topic they were all 125 and 150 if I remember rightly at Christmas so it just shows you I like to keep these in um, they are um, dishwasher safe microwave safe freezer safe and um, I tend to get these in especially if I know I'm going to have a buffet or I'm going to have people around or whatever and we may have a birthday cake because we've got a birthday coming up I'm not 100% sure about that one yet but it's always nice to have these containers in plus if I send anything um, away with anybody I'm not precious about them or worried if I get my boxes back so that's 125 and I've often get those right something that was one pound fifty and probably um home bargains would have been cheaper i've got the aquafresh triple protection i do like the pump ones i find them less wasteful and less messy even though we're all adults um but i just you know like these and we do like aquafresh so that was one pound fifty like i said they're all different prices this was £2.50, as you know, I do like the large one. This is the 1,190 mils, £2.50. This used to be £2, but even in the range and a couple of other places I've been, um, it has been £2.50, so, yep. 
um, I've got some tinned mate again as a backup for Easter. I've got the princess ham. Um, this is the 325 grams and that was two pounds. Um, so I can dish up some cooked meats. I'm hoping to get some fresh meats as well. Um, we were thinking about this, but we do like corned beef ash. So um, I've got, again, Dewhurst. I'm sure I've actually had the corned beef before. These were two pounds. Normally I have the Princess Make again, as I do a lot of canned goods, but these were two pounds each. Like I say, with corned beef ash, I normally have two cans when I do a big tray, the big roasting tray that is, two tins of baked beans and two pans of mashed potato, grated cheese, and my family love it. And um, it used to be a very cheap meal. Um, not too bad if you can get the corned beef reasonable, um, but it's one filling um, meal that's pretty reasonable still. Right. Pound stuff, I think I've got this correct. Um, not everything is exciting. I wanted my bath bathroom um, flash. I like this in my bathroom. I've had it years. It's just one of my um, favourites. I will be doing it empties and favourites um, coming up. I'm not sure. It probably be sometime after this one. I have got a queue system. I know I keep saying that. Um, but um, it's when I get around to checking them as well. I don't like to spend too long editing, but there you go. Um, this might be a strange one. Tennis balls, a pound, um, because Sunday we've got family coming and one of the relatives is bringing their dog. The dog loves, um, you know, tennis balls. So whether I will actually um, do a um easter basket for the dog i'm not sure but i've got tennis balls so um there's not left not left out now this might be a strange one not a very good offer because it's only for 40 large wipes mr sheen multi-purpose cleaning wipes fresh eucalyptus i absolutely love this and yeah it has got christmas packaging on i bought these at christmas and i've used my last packet and i managed to get another packet whether i will keep these or i don't know depends if i can get any more but sometimes i just love the smell of these and i know it's not brilliant um off of 40 wipes but excellent and they're multi-purpose as well I did pick up, um, as I keep mentioning, these everyday um, books. This is a science one. It is five to seven. Our granddaughter will be five towards the end of this year. And our daughter-in-law and son keeps a um, box with all these books in because obviously she will be late starting um, school because how her birthday um, sort of falls. But I just thought it was something that they could work together. And it says this book covers the following topics. Um, um, natural and man-made materials, metal, um, ceramics, building materials, glass, fabric, wood, paper, plastic, um, smart materials, choose materials, where do materials come from? Reduce, reuse and recycle. So um, yeah, and it just says what are materials? So it starts really sort of basic. And I just thought, you know, it, it's something to, um, to keep up with. So it says, is this chair hard or soft? Is this ring shiny or dull? Is the tree bark rough or smooth? So that's the sort of thing. So like they could have um, point even to um, sides of the picture in the book, you know, something in the home and things like that. So I just thought that this was really good. And it says the words below describe the problem properties of more materials what do all of these words mean so i know some of it is going to um be a little bit um harder for her but um you know it i don't think it's ever too early to start and uh, they've got so many activities in here and i think it's one of those things that at least they have it for when they need it so i've brought all the maths 
and the um, English box. So that's the science one, and that was a pound. Being careful because the thicker ones, um, I've picked one up before with obviously being in the Poundland ones, and it was a workbook, and it ended up being three pounds. And I didn't realise, I thought something was off when my food, when my actual shopping came to more, and it was three pounds. Um, still picking up eggs. Um, hopefully the weather's going to be nice. I know we're not usually lucky for Easter, but if not, we'll have the Easter egg hunt in the home. Um, got some chocolate eggs. These were a pound for 111 grams. I've got to check to see um, what eggs I've got to make sure I've got enough. Another repeat buy um, is the Botanic Garden Raspberry and Blossom Imperial Leather Soap. I think these are lovely for spring and I think and for Easter baskets. So that's that one. I've also picked up, I'm not sure if I'm keeping these myself, I'm gonna put them in a um Easter basket and look at the packaging on these. So we've got the gonk printed sheet mask. Um, so that's that one and we've also got the gonk printed foot pack actually even the guys use the foot ones especially you know after a you know a long week at work and everything and uh, hopefully especially hubby has a relaxing weekend or something yeah right if that happens but these were a pound each and I think these make really nice um, for your Easter baskets or bags and look at the packaging on those you know how hubby loves gonks so yeah <laughs> being a bit sarcastic there and yes they do have them yet again upside down and what i like about the print i love these prints i've got one in the background here with the like the flowery ears but i do like the genim and i think they had them in different colors and i liked the pale blue um genim as well and i think this is really sweet um, I did mention I wasn't sure if they've got them again, but they have. And I just like the print on this one um, with the, um, say, white and pink genome. So that's that one. And this has got a bit creased, um, unfortunately. Um, this is for an Easter basket. This is three pounds. Um, I often put a t-shirt in the guy's um, sort of um, Easter basket. This one is for hubby because he badly needs them slightly bigger because um, I don't know if anybody else noticed it. I mean, hubby's not that, he's quite tall and that's the problem. Um, not so much that way, but he does feel it across his shoulders, especially at work and everything, even at home. And the amount of times he's stretched, even with a large and you've heard a rip or something and I don't find them very long in length I don't know if anybody else is the same but anyway this is actually an extra large one um hubby does like them quite loose especially for work and I just want him I know it's work but I still like to see something different even though he's not in his work clothes very long when he comes home but um there's that one knowing him he'll say it's too good for work and he'll wear it casual first of all so don't be surprised but yeah it's um race club um with the car so i'm gradually um getting him the occasional t-shirt for work i don't tend to um you know pay a lot but i've noticed it didn't matter whether they were extra large large or whatever the length always seems to be the same and I've done that in other stores. It's mostly across here, obviously the chest, that um, the size is different. Really and truly, they need a longer length um, very often because as I said, um, hubby stretches and he, it just wriggles up and it's not ideal when it's cold because I keep saying about his bare back sometimes. So that was three pounds for the t-shirt. I have one item here, it is not from Poundland. I got this from Peacocks a few days ago and I do apologize, but I've mentioned this before about gaming merchandise and these are pajamas. These are for our youngest son. His birthday will be coming up in a couple of months. They are thin, well thinnish, but they're long pajamas. Now normally 
um, they all sleep in shorts and t-shirt but I thought these are not over thick so even lounging around and it's got the sort of elasticated bottoms it's got the tie waist and as you can see it is gaming related um, it is um, Xbox and there's the top Xbox and again it's a larger size I've got this in extra large because I think with loungewear something else you can actually have it larger so there we are ready to play with the controller it is a long sleeved um, so sort of um, I think it could do with any time of year there is the tag it was 24 pounds i don't know if that's picking up but i paid 12 pounds for that so i got that half price i have said this so many times with gaming merchandise gaming gifts if i can pick them up after the occasion i think this might have been i don't know if this is left over from the christmas stock i honestly don't know but it hasn't got christmas on it so it doesn't really matter i tend to get these i've like hobbies gaming both my son's game even my daughter-in-law and i do some gaming as well so i think gaming merchandise when i can pick it up you know and to tell you the truth it's the sort of thing um my family will actually wear you know as cer certain things you know you get new items this is why i normally take tags off because if the lay of the tags on that it, it just stay in the wardrobe hung up but if i take the tags off and it happens to be gaming it will be used so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye